we are going to import the data for lab 3 if you click on this import data and find out where have you placed your data so this is our data file and now uh, let me show you how it looks like so it has the first column the serial numbers time column and quarter one position and quarter two positions so I will just redo this time and quarter one and quarter two and then change it to table from table to column vectors and what you have to do you have to actually you don't need to select column A you can you can select column B and from second row that's good and then select this one exclude rows with uh, unimportable cells this is all looks good to me import it and once you import it you see the data is coming in our uh, workspace so now if you want to plot it plot time versus and quarter one which is the mass m1 so let's see that's nice that's looking beautiful and I want to show the second data hold on plot and quarter two with a different color and if you take a look here um, this is the second so this is a complete recording for maybe 22 seconds long. That's good. Now you want to take the FFT from here. What is the sampling frequency? The sampling frequency, um, we have to find out for this case. This is encoder has their own sampling frequency. So if I click on the time vector, um, let's do one thing. For the time vector, uh, I'm going to uh, maybe I can select 1 to 10 to show you the first 10 samples so you see the frequency sampling is okay let's do it dt which is the time difference between the two samples which is uh, time 2 minus time index 1 so this is our dt and sampling frequency would be dt inverse so this is our 111.11 samples in one second so let's keep this information so n is the length of the data which is in quarter and quarter one yeah, you can use this in quarter one uh, i'm sorry this is in quarter one here and now let's make a frequency axis which is going starting from zero going to the length minus 1 because 0 is no, not a number divided by n times the sampling frequency. This is the frequency. So let's make the FFT absolute FFT of the encoder 1 and then plot it. Let's make another figure and then plot it plot frequency versus time. Uh, this is uh, frequency versus FT. That's beautiful because we have we have to have two peaks. One is the low mode, other one is the higher mode. So if you want to show me, you can make nice x axis which is frequency axis, and this is y axis which is amplitude. So you, what you will do, you will zoom in this portion. And then you will make a data point here. One frequency is 2.8 hertz. The other frequency, make a new data for this one. That completes 4.47. That's nice. Thank you.